in the Premier League, and there were all sorts of ridiculous calls at that stage for Bobby Williamson's head. How short-sighted sometimes football supporters can be. And of course, in short contrast to that opening burst of form from Hibbs, they've won their last five, five straight wins in the Premier League. And from the early stages, when they were bottom of the league, and looking like early season contenders for relegation, now they're up into fourth spot. And things suddenly look a whole lot brighter on Leith. So got there first, Grant Brendan, a good support run again. And the corner was looking for the next man, the next ball, third man run. Webster could have played after a throw rather than a corner kick. Five in the box for Yarko Vess. Stephen Presley was head and shoulders above everyone. Him trying to keep the pressure on, and that's useful. It's more than useful. Hips have the leads. Miksu Patalainen, and it's a blunder by Ronnie McKenzie. There's not enough of a lead. Anything can happen. Scott Severin is off for Hearts, who make their final switch, and it's Neil Janicek, a 19-year-old who's come through the Hearts youth system, who gets a taste of the Edinburgh derby. <laughs> Presley screaming at the assistant, looking for an offside. I think he was, but I think it's frustration again. Holgan's throw to Orman. Janicek. For McKenna. It's the equaliser. With four minutes left. Kevin McKenna pushed from the fence to attack. And he squares the game set up by the teenager, Neil Janicek. It's a great ball from Janicek. McKenna, magnificent run, peeled off his, his marker, getting to the back post. And it's a great head and a crossy goalkeeper, giving Colgan absolutely no chance whatsoever. I was just about to say, Sandy, that uh, much though Hibs have looked likelier to add to their leads than Hearts have looked likely to square the game. With the scoreline at 1-0, there's always the chance that that is going to happen. And Hearts look to have salvaged it right at the death. It's really against the play, no question, but give three credit. He's changed from his three to back to a flat four, pushed McKenna up front, and that's what he's very, very good at. He gets so many goals with his head, so good in the air, and his timing was magnificent. It's Kevin McKenna's first goal of the season, and they don't come more crucial than that. I might be expecting too much from him, but I tell you, he's, he's a talented player. He's got the ball at his feet. He's good to watch. He's a great technique. Paul Fennick, great header. Mabry. Janicek. Stamp. That's Graham Weir. Johnny Chick again, and Phil Stark wins the Edinburgh Derby for Hearts. A brilliant move involving two of the Hearts teenagers. And Phil Stark's second goal for Hearts is going to make it two out of two in the Edinburgh Derby for Hearts this season. He's a hero, Johnny Chick involved again. Start with a little push and go, Ganachev played him in again, and what a good finish that is. Across the goalkeeper, low down, entering into the post, giving Colgan absolutely no chance in goal, 
And great credit to Hearts. Unbelievable end to this match. Just when he had to be controlled with a finish, he found the perfect shot across Nick Colgan and into the corner. And Phil Storm has been red carded. Sent off for going in among the supporters for his celebration. And what a dramatic ending to this second Edinburgh derby of the season. Hearts celebrate it's two out of two for them. They looked down and out a few minutes from the end. Kevin McKenna's header brought them back. And inside stoppage time, Phil Stump drove in a dramatic winner. But that wasn't the end of the controversy, the end of the excitement, because in all the celebrations after the goal, and Phil Stump had gone in among the Hearts supporters to celebrate the goal, was shown the red card by Willie Young. And his celebration run ended with a walk down the tunnel. He won't forget the Edinburgh Derby feeling because it's ended for him with a sensational winning goal followed by his dismissal. But uh, you can see from these pictures the Hearts are not at all bothered about a suspension coming up for Phil Stamm. Craig Levine can't quite believe it. Victory snatched from the jaws of defeat by Hearts. Hibbs surely shocked and stunned. They won't be able to believe this. Stephen Presley's with you.